guys welcome to this week's video so i had to write the story out so i didn't miss anything out or so i didn't share what i shouldn't be sharing about this whole situation so i will be reading off my computer because i did have to sit there and type out and back this and delete things and anyway here we go the story involves five people myself and four others and we'll name them gracie lilo amanda and ross this is about how one person really screwed this friendship up and how they managed to F it all up. So let's start back in 2014. I was at a camp and ended up meeting a guy called Ross. He was sweet, caring and kind. Really wanted to jump in his bed, if you know what I mean. But found out he had a girlfriend. This is where shit started to go downhill. Bear in mind I will keep looking up away from the camera I am filming off my phone because my camera is dead and I'm too lazy to charge it. Because I'm lazy. Anyway, his girlfriend's name was Gracie. And she was the most beautiful person I had ever seen at this point. Long hair, tall, amazingly thin and a really, really nice figure. Everything I wanted to be, which made me a little bit jealous of her in the relationship. Little did I know issues were going down. Wow, this is so shaky. <laughs> Little did I know issues were going down between them. I ended up meeting Gracie and becoming friends with her. We got close, knew everything about each other, and just had an amazing time together. When Gracie found out I was friends with Ross, she spat the dummy. Telling me if I talk to Ross ever again, the friendship is over. Didn't think much of it. As really nothing could break us apart. Fast forward a few years and Gracie and I went to UCO together. So we've skipped about three years. There was not really much that went down in the, the three years between 2014 and UCO. Two, three years. And Gracie and I went to UCO together. We were in different courses but had roughly the same timetable so we could hang out during lunch breaks and after class before the bus. So we had to catch buses back home. She caught one bus, I caught another. Right. This was when Gracie introduced me to Lilo. I had an off feeling about Lilo, but I ignored it for the time being. All was well and good until Amanda, my friend from course, told me Gracie was spreading shit about me like butter on warm toast. So I did a me thing, confronted Gracie, and shit hit the fan even worse. When I did, Gracie said she knew nothing about anything and that she was trying to stop the rumours like a good friend, so I believed her. I mean, we're friends, right? Or so I thought. The rumours got back to me and I ended up going back into my shell and going really quiet, which was unlike me. A lot of people at UCOL noticed and tried to understand why this was happening. I mean, we're all adults, so why is there bullying? A few months had passed and the rumours were growing bigger and bigger. I caught on to who was spreading them and to my shock, it was Gracie. So I went up to her, told her to stop everything or shit will hit the fam. He said, really? Okay. And I said, I have family on speed dial and there is going to be hell to pay. Little did Gracie know this was true. So my family, how my family runs. So if you make one of us cry, we all back that person up. The person who made you cry will die. Literally. They will be screamed at and they will regret ever making that person cry. However, if you're in the family, say if I were to piss off one of my uncles, I'd be the one to get screamed at. We get behind each other and we protect each other. It's just what we do. Fast forward to last year, Gracie decided she wanted to stop hanging with me and start to get bitchy toward me, telling me I'm worth nothing, that I'll never amount to anything because I suck. When this happened, I stopped holding conversations with her and only said hi every now and again. This went on for most of last year and then she got super nasty. So, Gracie and Lilo, I didn't put this in here and I should have. Gracie and Lilo were house sitting and I decided to stay over. Gracie wasn't home, Lilo was. So, I decided to go and do some groceries with Lilo because I didn't know when Gracie would be home. I got home and Gracie was standing in the kitchen really upset that I didn't wait for her because she only just got home. Like, we spent a good hour and a half at, at Pack and Save because it was super busy. Like I wasn't gonna wait an hour and a half in somewhere I don't know for someone to get home. Like, you know, and she basically picked Lilo over me. 
like bear in mind that her and Lilo had only met three years prior to all this happening. Me and Gracie had met back in 2014, so big difference. Come this year, I contacted my auntie to see what she, to see what I should do, as she knows, as she has a good rough idea of who my friends are and what most of them are like. She basically told me to dump her, block her, and move on. It, would, it was just not worth the stress. So that's what I did. I blocked her off Snapchat, Insta, and Facebook. She doesn't have a Twitter, and I also blocked her number. However, this is when she started talking to my mum about me, which got me super pissed and upset. Like, you're 23. Grow the fuck up. And if you want to say something to me, then come around, speak to me, you know? Yeah. No? Anyway, I'm going to stop because there is shit... There is a shit ton more to say, but it's more personal than what can go into a video. And that is something I want to keep to myself and keep to Gracie. That is just something that I don't want to share. Anyway, shout out goes out to this person for just suggesting a story time video about the whole situation. Have a good week, chickies. And if you want a shout out in next week's video, all you need to do is comment a video idea and you will get a shout out. See you. You all next week. Bye.